and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another episode of StarCraft 2 Fun Set. or Not. She's being a bitch. Yeah, as you can see, I might as well keep that up for now. Since you guys already saw it, this is a long ass game. Um, I'll go ahead and spoil it. I lost, but um, considering that it was one versus three at the time, I'm not too concerned about it. This is Team Micro Arena. Uh, how it works is every time. No, stop it, stop it, stop it. I just want to see the spawn venue. Oh, they're not going to show me the spawn venue. Okay, what basically happens is once all your characters die, you can spawn again. Here's the little spawn menu. Um, I'm just kind of randomly picking what I think would be good right now. Um, my teammate almost instantly leaves. That was not cool. And, you know, my other ally didn't know how to play the, the map. That's cool. I didn't really know either. Um, but one thing that I will say is that the map uh, does kind of uh, do well in terms of what it does for uh, micro. It does force you to, to micro. As you can see, these vultures are now crap against my mutalix. And I should be able to get, oh, all but one, and that one's going to make me chase them all around the map. That's never cool. Uh, you do get to, ki to, to pick your... Uh, your units, you can summon them up at any time if you feel like they're going to lose. Uh, you don't really get units based on score. You only get the tier of units based on score. Can it? No, it's not going to let me look at it. I would show off all the different units for you guys. I wouldn't say that they're all equal, to be honest with you. Um, the Zergling Hydralisk, for instance, I feel is a much better class than the Mutalisks, but then again, it can attack the Vultures and not be a hit back. Um, you know, if you guys want to pause it, you can see all the different things here. That this is all tier one right now. I took forever to decide this time. I'm kind of like, well, what do I want? As you can see, there were Reavers. Those things were huge and did a massive amount of damage, but they only attack ground. I should have stuck with air. Wraith would have been my best option right now because they can cloak. They are equipped with that, which is awesome. These guys can all burrow to regain health. Uh, but this was a fun little map, you know. Basically, practices your micro. You always want to do that. As you can see, I did not do that, and therefore everybody that I had died. Um, don't get the probes, like, ever. This is, like, you know, two zealots and four probes? What is that? That's stupid. Don't, don't do that. Uh, what am I going to get this time? Uh, Goliath. That was a lot of fun. Um, don't get, like, any kind of dropships. Um, yeah, I ended up getting a lurker. That was not the smartest idea, don't get a lurker. Uh, a lot of fun, like I said. Um, if you guys get the chance, check it out. It will end up being a long game, because this thing does have 12,000 HP. That is a lot of HP. Here's the Reaver. Finally get to see it do a massive amount of damage. Here in comes the Hercules. It can just drop units, and drops them almost safely out of range of my Lurker. Lurker is the worst thing to get, I think. Like I said, they are not all equal. My uh, teammate here got an observer. That is a useless observer. Oh, and you'll notice the shield does not regenerate. So, yeah, I was kind of hoping it was going to. And then he left after saying he thought it was just him. Whatever. So he left me all by myself. People apparently like to rage quit on this on this map. But I was able to get three stalkers out, and they are starting to do massive amounts of damage. But once again, the points don't determine when you get the next uh, when you get your units. Once your units die, you just start getting them again, and that's how you rake up a lot of points. So I go for the Zealots because they can charge and I want them to charge in on those tanks and those vultures and try to get as much damage done and now they aren't under attack at all. And now there are little, yeah, there's those little spots here that will move you all around the map. That wasn't very cool. As you can see, I take the lead. I did end up taking the lead throughout the whole game, but still lost because it was one versus three. But that's just the way the map is. That's one of my complaints about it is that it doesn't truly require micro, even though it does, I mean, this is a great way to practice it. There's there's really no way to force people to use micro, because once again, once once they're all dead, I got more units my way. So let's get the mutalists out. 
Oh, that was not a smart move now that I see those Marines there. Uh, I just realized now that I can control this observer. That is very handy. I would love it if the Nexus itself was an observer. Oh, it would have helped me out so much. But here we go, Goliath. That's some fun stuff. I stuck with Goliath for, for quite some time, especially when people started going for the air. But that's going to be the map. And that's going to be it for now. As you can see, this is only seven and a half minutes out of almost 55 minutes. This almost took an hour. It was fun, though. Not necessarily worth the hour, but I like to stay, stay in there. I didn't want to leave immediately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys check out this map. This is Team Micro Arena. I already forgot. I'll write it down, and I'll put the, the proper name in the title. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.